guys. Thank you for joining us today. I've got Ashley Walden from Harmon Dennis Bradshaw here uh, to really detail how they've been using uh, Informer to really optimize how they're thinking about data and utilizing it in their day-to-day -day operations. My name is Jen Fenner and I'm working hard with Vertifor across all areas to really get more information out of their data because while Vertifor is very strong, in terms of reporting, there are always ways that you can mine from your data and we help you do that. With me today, I have Ashley Walden, who is the controller for Harmon Dennis Bradshaw. Can you tell me a bit more about yourself, Ashley? Yes, so I have been in the insurance industry for 25 years. I have been working on the Vertifor products for 18 years. Um, I am the controller at Harmon Dennis Bradshaw, but I also wear a bunch of different hats, as most of y'all probably do also. Um, I'm in charge of the reporting. And um, so that's where I came to find Informer and uh, just knew we had to have it to, to make things better and actually more controlled in our agency. Fantastic. Can you tell me a little bit more about Harmon Dennis Bradshaw as a company? Yes, we have been in business since um, the 70s. So we're almost 50 years old now. Um, we are one of the largest independent insurance agency in Alabama. We have about 47 employees. Um, we write personalized, commercialized employee benefits. Um, and to that, we use Sajita, MHI, and Benefit Point for the Vertifor products. Um, we're very, still very family oriented, even though we're one of the largest. Um, we pride ourselves on being able to build lasting relationships in the community. And um, we're also licensed in all 50 states and are able to build relationships across those state lines. Awesome. We're so glad to have you. And for the agenda for the first part of today, and then we'll get into the demo of the software, is to understand the success of Harmon Dennis Bradshaw and how they've gone into this and how they've leveraged their data and how their data is now working for them. We'll show you why data distribution is important, who Harmon Dennis Bradshaw is, and how they are using Informer. What are they using from their data to make better business decisions? And then finally, how are they doing it? And they're doing it with Informer 5. So when it comes to data distribution, it comes down to how do we put the right data in the right people's hands? And as you know, in your data set or your database, there's a whole ocean of data but it's understanding what piece I need to make a successful business decision, and that's what we do. So really, if your data is siloed, you can't see the complete picture. We've got customers that say all the time they have certain data that tells them to do this and other data that tells them to do that. Which one do I trust? And for that, you really have to have that single source of truth. And we're gonna go into that and how you achieve this. And that goes back to if you don't trust your data, you can't make those data-driven decisions. Uh, Ashley, how did you determine that you could trust the data? Um, during the implementation process, that was one of my, my biggest um, concerns is, is being able to trust that information that I'm pulling out of Informer. So what we did during implementation, because I should be able to go to Informer and get the same information if I go in to Sajita's canned reports. So when we would run um, a data set we would take those, leave it raw and not any filters and make sure that we were coming up bottom line totals, the same as Informer and then in Sajita. And then once we trusted that, that's when we would start manipulating and splicing and dicing and giving people who needed access to that information, their piece of the pie. Yep, that makes total sense. And I'm glad that we were able to allow you that, you know, feeling of being able to trust your data and the last thing is that we're going to talk about a sea of there being so much data and you're, you've really got to curate that relevant data to the user. So it comes into how do we distribute it? There's rows and rows of data. How are we impacting our users? So with the use of our dashboards, a user opens up, sees that visualization, um, and then sees the relevant trends to them and they're able to drill down and understand more. Uh, data is the lifeblood of our decision-making process, and we take confidence in knowing that our single source of truth provides the transparency necessary to make data-driven decisions. 
And that rings true for Ashley at HDB. And she mentions how Informer is a game changer. Can you speak to us a little bit more about this? Yes, it, it has been definitely a game changer for us. Days are gone um, of running reports all day long. Um, we've created dashboards. We've set up um, reports to email out automatically. We have some on a daily basis, some on a weekly, monthly, and we also have annual distributions. So we've set those up touched it once and we don't ever really have to touch it again. It's just automatically on the back end happening. Um, we've pretty much been able to do and accomplish anything we've asked um, with you guys through this system. That is awesome. I'm so glad that Informer has allowed you to make those better business decisions and um, trust the data and feel good about it. Um, so how Informer allows you to make those better business decisions um, is that what I'm hearing is that it creates that data integrity for you. Instead of having all these competing data sources that tell you different things, you build out that large data set and that gives you that single source of truth. All the data that you have is in that data set and then you're filtering or picking out the things that you need to dive in and make that decision to drive forward. Um, the other thing that it does is that it helps you curate the right data. So with the security settings, you can create groups and based on those groups, you can restrict certain data so that the users see only the data that they need to see and not the data that doesn't pertain to them. So and really, I, let me let me start. I can give you an example um, of one of these. Everybody in this group is going to know this. So if you, you run an expiration list for your um, account managers, so just say one leaves, you've already distributed X list out 180 days. So between that time, if somebody leaves, the beauty in this system of Informer is as soon as you make that change into Sajita, all their expiration and renewal reports in their database is going to update. So your, your data integrity is there, you, you're able to have instant results without having to go back and remember, well, how did I build this report and who did I distribute it to? It's always there for every user to access at any time. You're exactly right, Ashley. And so in the end, it all comes down to delivering the right information to the right person so that they can take action. With dashboards, uh, they make the data accessible for those individual users. And I know that at HDB, uh, that you guys utilize one dashboard to give their users um, to their, to, for their specific data with their role level security, which eliminates the need to send an email to each user. So this is great because then you can also access the dashboard whenever you need. And I know, Ashley, you mentioned that your sales reps and managers can now view their accounts daily to see their action items. Can you tell me how this has helped your day-to-day? -day? Yes, yeah, so with our um, account managers, we've built several reports for them that allow them to have access to their receivable, any cash on accounts, um, their renewal list. Um, they also have um, inform their trash list of their non-renewals or their renewals that have not been invoiced. But on the sales side, we, we built two pretty good reports. Um, one is a comparison dashboard. You know, producers or sales reps are always chasing that year to year um, revenue to make sure, you know, they always want to be ahead, not behind. So we've we built them um, a comparison that shows them your, their year to date by client revenue um, prior year versus this year. And, but it, it is, year to date, it doesn't take last year's full. We, we built it where it would stop and where it's a true comparison. But the, the one that has really been the most truth, I guess you would say, for the producers are we built a report that's a rolling 12 months that is their top 20 to 25 clients. And we just had one the other day that, that was reviewing it. And had no idea that one of these small accounts that he wrote 10 years ago had jumped up into his top 10. So he has made that decision that he needs to start paying more attention, you know, um, entertaining a little bit more, making a little more contact with this client because he just simply didn't realize how it had grown 
um, especially with, you know, the account managers do a lot of the, the bulk of the renewals. So um, it, it's, it's been, it has been a game changer for us on the uh, account manager side, on the accounting side, we've, we've started building reports for us also. Um, we are using it um, agency-wide. Thank you, Ashley, for sharing that information. Um, really appreciate that. Another great quote that we have here is that with Informer, we're able to leverage our data to measure and improve. We've gone from having opinions to having the truth. And it goes from having an opinion and a gut to knowing. And the difference between that is supreme confidence and supreme in your results. So in summary, you can't have data-driven decisions unless you trust the data. Then dashboards make the data accessible to all users, regardless of how technically savvy they are. Seeing the dashboards, they can drill down and see the trends and make good business decisions where everybody at the organization will benefit. So in summary, that's kind of an overview of the back end of how we are working with HDB and how they're benefiting from and utilizing Informer. Ashley, do you have any closing thoughts? Um, I would just say, you know, we're, we continue, um, we're over, you know, a year into this and, and we are continuing to find ways that, oh yeah, let's build this report and distribute it. It's when people ask, we're like, oh yeah, that makes sense. But I, my one suggestion in closing, um, I would say is when you start building this out and to get an early adapter group, get you some of your um, power users or your senior account managers or a young producer that wants that information that'll give you good feedback because only the user knows what they want to see. You know, we on the back end can sit and build out this great report, but unless the user feels beneficial, then it, it, it's really no good. So my, my biggest thing and the thing we got right um, when implementing this is we built that early adapter group. We made sure any kinks or any filters, all that was worked out before we actually rolled it out to the agency. Because, you know, if you roll it out and then you have to tweet, you, you lose that trust in, in the user. So that, that's the only suggestion I have is, is build you a little team um, to make sure all y'all are on board and y'all trust, and then you roll it out. I appreciate that insight, Ashley. I think that you're spot on. That's a great idea um, and that anybody could benefit from rolling it out that way as well. Uh, so now I guess we're gonna hand it over to Robin Lamb, uh, who is the VP of Informer Client Services uh, at Intrinsic. And she's going to take over, show you how our software solves the problems that we've talked about in this presentation. Thanks again, everyone, for joining us. And thanks, Ashley, for being on with us. You're welcome. Thank you.